This is number four from the 2008 Calc A, B, and B, C exams, and it's sort of a graph velocity type problem. Um, we're given a graph of velocity, and the first thing we're asked is uh, the time and position of the particle when the particle is farthest to the left. It's also a giant paragraph about, uh, before this, but, you know. So we just want when the particle is farthest to the left, and that would be at one of the endpoints, um, or when v of t changes from negative to positive. You can kind of tell that the uh, starting point is not going to be the answer, but it's so easy to deal with that that uh, I'm not going to bother to rule it out initially. Um, so that's t equals 0, t equals 3, or t equals 6. 0 and 6 are the endpoints, and 3 is where it changes from negative to positive. All right, so let's write an accumulation function for uh, where you end up at a particular time, which is this, and that simplifies we're given in the initial problem that um, the position at t equals 0 is negative 2. So we're also told these three regions, um, 8, 3, and 2. And if you're moving from left to right, the 8 will be negative and the 2 will be negative. It's moving to the left uh, during those time intervals. So x of 0 is negative 2. Um, x of 3 is negative 2 plus the integral from 0 to 3 of v of u du. Um, which is negative 2, and then since we are moving uh, from left to right along the t-axis, that 8 is going to be negative, so that gives us a negative 10. Uh, now we need to calculate x of 6, which is negative 2, blah, blah, blah. All right, so that's negative 2 plus, we're going to get a negative 8, a positive 3, and a negative 2, and we add all those up, we get negative 9. So you can see that the particle is the farthest to the left that it will ever get at t equals 3 and the position is negative 10. So that's what we were asked to do and we've done it. Alright, let's move on to part b. So for how many times uh, does the particle intersect or is its position negative 8? So I only really need to figure out where it is at 5 and I will have considered uh, the endpoints and the turning points. So let's do that. So that's going to be negative 8 plus 3. So negative 7. What I'm going to do here is make a little table to help me kind of construct my argument. So these are all values that I've calculated previously or that I just calculated. And all right, this is going to be an intermediate value theorem question. So we're going to say that the function is continuous, which it is. And um, at 3, it's less than negative 8, and at 0, it's greater than negative 8. Also, at 3, it is less than negative 8, and at 5, it's greater than. And a third time, at 6, it's less, and at 5, it's greater. So the intermediate value theorem applies on each of those intervals. So x of t equals negative 8 for some t between 0 and 3 for some t between 3 and 5, and for some t between 5 and 6. So there must be three times at which it equals negative 8. And that's how I would do that one. And let's see. Question C is, uh, we're trying to find when the speed of the particle is, is the speed increasing or decreasing on this particular interval. So what we want to know is, uh, we want to know, is the velocity the same sign as the acceleration? Well, velocity is definitely negative. And since the velocity is increasing, that means that the acceleration is positive. You might want to make that argument. You might want to just go with v of t is less than 0, v of t is increasing. But anyway, combine those and you get that the speed is decreasing. Because velocity and acceleration have opposite signs. And finally, we move on to part d where we are trying to show or find where the acceleration of the particle is negative. So acceleration is v prime of t, which means that acceleration will be less than zero on any interval on which v of t is decreasing. So what we can do is look at the graph. Um, we're also told that velocity has horizontal tangent lines at one and four, which is relevant. So those are your two intervals where the velocity is decreasing. So a of t is less than 0 on 0 to 1, and on 4 to 6. And that's how I would do this problem. So I hope you found this helpful. Good luck.